Welcome back to Wanderlust Wayfarer. Ever pondered what makes Tokyo so enthralling? Strap in as we take a whimsical journey to the city that's the perfect marriage of old world charm and new age innovation. It's a place where skyscrapers and temples play the perfect game of hide and seek, where the ancient gods would say my bad if they bumped into a drone. Welcome to Tokyo, the city that has mastered the art of time travel. Did you know that Tokyo's bustling Shibuya crossing has more foot traffic than ants at a summer picnic? And yet it's more organized than most people's sock drawers. Don't get us started on Asakusa, where you can buy traditional Japanese souvenirs from the Nakamese shopping street. It's like a trip back in time, but with better snacks. And then there's Harajuku, the heart of Tokyo's youth culture. This is where fashion and tradition clash with a neon twist, making peacock feathers look minimalist. For a different perspective, take a dizzying trip up the Tokyo Sky Tree. It's so tall you might exchange a friendly wave with a passing airplane. If you're a fan of anime, manga and electronics, brace yourselves. Akihabara is your Disneyland. Also, for the nature lovers, we have Ueno Park, Tokyo's green oasis. It's a perfect place to catch your breath, quite literally. Ready for some seafood? Tsukiji Outer Market is the place to be. It's so fresh, you might have to apologize to the fish. Add a cruise on Tokyo Bay and you've got yourself a postcard perfect day. A little further afield, you'll find Odaiba, a man-made island that's like a buffet of shopping, entertainment and sightseeing opportunities you might need to loosen your belt. We've barely scratched the surface of what Tokyo has to offer. This city is a buffet of culture, history and one insanely fast bullet train. So buckle up. It's high time we get this Tokyo roller coaster rolling. Get ready to dive right into Tokyo with Wanderlust Wayfarer. Let the countdown begin. Kicking off our countdown at number 25 is the hushed Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. Located just a hop, skip and a bullet train away from Tokyo, this peaceful retreat allows you to meander through towering bamboo groves. Fun fact. Did you know that bamboo is the fastest growing plant on earth? So don't blink or you might miss some growth. The rustling leaves and the patchy sunlight streaming through the bamboo stalks make you feel as though you've walked straight into a fantasy novel. And now, at number 24, we're sliding into the eccentric world of animal cafes. These cafes are not your regular Starbucks, folks. Besides pampering yourself with a coffee, you can also cuddle with hedgehogs or share a table with owls. Some of these cafes even offer falconry experiences. So, in Tokyo, the saying is, a cup of coffee a day keeps the ordinary away. Moving up to number 23, we're talking about the superstar of Japanese cuisine, local ramen. Not to be confused with your dollar one cup noodles, Tokyo's ramen is more like a culinary symphony with noodles, broth and toppings playing their parts to perfection. A few ramen chefs in Tokyo have even earned Michelin stars for bowls of goodness. Coming in at number 22, we're adding a dash of sweetness with Santa Monica crepes in Harajuku. These aren't your regular French crepes, they're stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey with everything from fresh fruits and cream to slices of cheesecake. Fun fact, these crepes are so popular, they even have their own Crepes Idol competition. Talk about a sweet fandom. And finally, for number 21, we're teleporting you to the Regal Imperial Palace. This historic site, enclosed by moats and stone walls, is like a still frame in Tokyo's time lapse. The palace is only open to the public two days a year, so timing is everything. Exploring the palace grounds and the East Gardens offers a window into Japan's grand history and culture. Well folks, this is just a glimpse into the treasure trove that Tokyo is. Buckle up for more exciting adventures. Rolling into number 20, we have the Ueno Zoo. This is Japan's oldest zoo and it certainly has some character, not to mention a diverse range of wildlife from the always adorable pandas that never seem to stop snacking on bamboo to the elephants who look like they've just stepped out of a jungle book movie. This place is an animal lover's paradise. Trivia time. Did you know that Ueno Zoo was the first zoo to exhibit a panda in Japan? Talk about cross-cultural exchange. And for those with a desire to learn, you can also visit the zoo's museum to delve into the various species and their habitats. Next on our list, at number 19, we have the Mori Art Museum. This contemporary art museum is located in the heart of Tokyo and offers a wide range of exhibits from both local and international artists. Keeping things fresh, the museum's rotating exhibits ensure there's always something new to see, making it a must visit for art enthusiasts. 
At number 18, don't miss the Tokyo Center for the Arts. This cultural hub offers a variety of performances, from classical music to contemporary dance, and its cutting-edge design and top-notch acoustics make it a dream destination for any performing arts lover. For number 17, let's shift gears a bit. Ever wanted to travel at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour? The bullet train, or Shinkansen as it's known in Japan, is an experience that propels you into the future. These sleek, aerodynamic trains are a testament to Japan's technological prowess and offer a fast and comfortable way to travel across the country. Finally, stepping into the world of opulence at number 16, we have the luxurious Ginza district. Known as one of the most expensive shopping districts in the world, Ginza is where you'll find the biggest brands and the most high-end boutiques. But it's not just about shopping. Ginza also boasts an array of gourmet restaurants, art galleries and nightlife spots. From art to luxury, Tokyo truly has something for everyone. But hold on, we're not done yet. Kicking off our countdown at number 15, we have Yoyogi Park. Now this isn't just any ordinary park, it's like the Central Park of Tokyo, but with a pinch of samurai spirit and a dash of manga madness. It's a breath of fresh air in the bustling metropolis of Tokyo, an oasis perfect for picnics, parkour, or pondering the meaning of life under a cherry blossom tree. You might even catch a glimpse of a local festival or event where you can see everything from traditional taiko drumming to a Pikachu parade. Swooping down to number 14, we find ourselves in a world of aquatic wonder at the Tokyo Art Aquarium. This isn't just your average fish gazing spot, it's a fusion of art, technology and marine life that will have you questioning your own reality. It's a sensorial delight that is sure to leave you mesmerized like being trapped in a screensaver. The rest of our countdown continues with visits to the Tokyo Tower, the Odaiba District and the Tokyo Bay Cruise. So stay with me folks, we're about to break into the top 10 of our countdown, and trust me, you won't want to miss it. Starting our Epicurean exploration at number 10 is the celebrated Tsukiji Outer Market. This gastronomic heaven teases your palate with fresh off the boat seafood and conventional Japanese delicacies. This market handles over 2,000 tons of marine products daily. That's heavier than 300 elephants. Truly a must-visit spot for every food connoisseur. Proceeding ahead, we discover serenity amongst Tokyo's urban chaos in the verdant Ueno Park. With its enchanting beauty, especially during cherry blossom season, it also houses an array of museums. Our next stop takes us deep into the colorful culture of Akihabara district, an Eden for anime, manga, and electronics aficionados. Its countless stores, theme cafes, and an electrifying atmosphere provide a one-of-a-kind experience. Mm. Did you know this district is affectionately known as Akihabara Electric Town? From there, we climb the Tokyo Tower, an iconic symbol of Japan's capital, standing at 333 meters, 1,092 feet, making it taller than the Eiffel Tower. Despite being inspired by the Parisian landmark, Tokyo Tower distinguishes itself not only by height, but also through its dual role as a communications and observation hub in the heart of Tokyo. Finally, we arrive at the tranquil Meiji Shrine. Enclosed in a luxuriant forest, this Shinto shrine dedicated to Emperor Meiji and Empress Shokun offers a spiritual sanctuary, and with that, we're ready to reveal our top five. Crashing into the top five, we have Harajuku. Harajuku isn't just a vibrant blend of fashion and youth culture, it's also the birthplace of many of Japan's most eyebrow-raising trends, like cosplay and decora. Takashita Street is a shopping mecca for the fashion forward and distinctively different. From eclectic clothing shops to oddball cafes and lively street art, it's a place that truly dons Tokyo's vibrant youth culture. Up next, dive headfirst into the heart of Tokyo's urban life at the world-famous Shibuya Crossing. It's not just an ordinary pedestrian crossing, folks. It's a feat of human traffic management, a ballet of people dodging people. This place is a symbol of the city's relentless energy. Venture a selfie amidst Tokyo's bustling life here. Just try not to bump into any locals. And don't forget to gaze at the Shibuya sky. It's a sight to behold. Taking the bronze medal, we invite you to explore Asakusa and the Sensoji Temple. As Tokyo's oldest temple, Sensoji is a testament to the city's rich history. Our silver medal goes to Tokyo Cruise. Tokyo offers a variety of cruise experiences that allow visitors to enjoy the city from a unique perspective on the water. These cruises, which navigate through Tokyo Bay and along the Sumida River, provide stunning views of iconic landmarks such as the Rainbow Bridge, Odaiba, 
and the Tokyo skyline, including the Tokyo Tower and Skytree, all while offering different themes, from sightseeing and dinner cruises to traditional Yakutabun boats where guests can enjoy Japanese cuisine. And at number one, the shining of Tokyo, the Skytree. Offering sweeping views of Tokyo, the tallest structure in Japan isn't just about the view, it's an experience, complete with shopping and dining options. And there you have it, the top 25 things to do in Tokyo. So when are you packing your bags? Don't forget to comment below, like this video, and subscribe to Wanderlust Wayfarer for more travel guides.